Hi, I'm Papa with SuperWax Solutions in association with Parodi Marketing. Solving for X. Isn't that everybody's favorite topic? X on a solving. So, um, without wasting your time. Let's first look at um, what we are going to be doing regarding solving for X today. Grade, the grade 11 textbook will be looked at from an exam point of view, right? So for your grade 11, you have your exponents and suits, which are categorized under the rationale of exponents and suits, solving suit equations, application of exponents. So basically, this is what you would use when you are solving for X. These will be the applications you will apply. Now, you also have equations and inequalities. Now, completing the square, quadratic formula, substitution, finding the equation, nature of the roots, quadratic inequalities, simultaneous equations, as well as word problems. This is some of the work that you are going to go through as we are looking at um, grade 11 textbooks from an exam point of view. So, without wasting your time, let's go right ahead and soldier on solving for X. And uh, as we solve for X in the following equations, you will notice that certain principles will be applied from the textbook. And as we are solving, we'll take you to the part on the textbook that involves solving this particular equation we'll be doing. So we'll start off with number two. For number two, you have your um, your suit equation or your, your suit form to start off with. It's the square root of 2x plus 1, where you also have your x minus 1. So now how do you solve this? The first thing you do is use the... Um, squaring of both sides to be able to answer this question effectively now if you square both sides you'll notice that the square roots will cancel out because multiplying a square root by a square root gives you a very good uh, starting point so now let's look at the textbook uh, topics so from the textbook's point of view uh, what has been applied in that equation that we were doing is solving suit equations as you can see and um, there's a bit of exponents in there as well so application of exponents you, we therefore have applied exponents and suits in that particular question as we were starting so as you um, you familiarize yourself with maths in grade 11 ensure that you always link your exam questions with your textbook that will actually simplify everything for you and you'll understand even more so let's carry on to the next part of the question since we have applied the suits and exponents in this regard by putting in 2x plus 1 is equals to x minus 1 squared so both sides were squared and the rule was applied so now we will then have to uh, simplify everything, meaning that whatever is in the bracket, we have to then uh, eliminate the bracket and multiply what's in the bracket by itself so that we can be able to work on one side. So which part of the textbook is that actually addressing? Um, you can then look at everything in the textbook because simplifying is essentially in everything it's in solving equations it's in application of exponents so that was just a case of simplifying meaning that you had to to use factorizing some one of the principles you have learned in the past so remember whenever you are doing um, term one and the questions in the previous examination papers for paper one, question one, you will be likely uh, be answering 
things you have actually covered in chapter one, two, and three, probably. So now we then have to carry on. Since we have simplified uh, that bracket, 2x squared minus 2x plus 1, the only thing to do is to have everything on one side now, where now it, we can further simplify and have the one side equals to 0. So uh, once you have done that, you will find that you have x squared plus 4x, and now it's the it's your turn to factorize so remember factorizing again it's something that you have covered in previous uh grades so as you factorize you'll notice that the common factor here is x so x outside you have your bracket x plus 4 is equals to naught that gives you x equals to 0 or x is the factor of negative 4 now the negative 4 is an error as you can see, when you do multiply um, or when you do transpose the following, the 2x plus 1, this x becomes negative and then hence the positive 4x and rather it should be negative 4x and this 4 should be positive as well. So once you have done this and um, this question illustrates the point exactly that we were trying to make. Um, that we are looking at the at the, an ex, a previous exam paper in terms of your textbook. So grade eleven from an exam point of view. So let's carry on to the next question. Uh, before we carry on as well, also, if you need help with mathematics and accounting, contact us on WhatsApp. Or call us on 0761988075. Please send me personally some questions on my Gmail. There's my Gmail. Or use my YouTube to comment on the comment section. So now that we have done that first question, which was question two, now we're looking at the much more easier question. Again, this one only requires you to factorize. And therefore, it's something that you have learned in previous grades again. So I won't be dwelling too much on it. So x squared plus x minus 12 is equals to 0. When you factorize x, um, negative 3, x plus 4 is equals to 0. The factors of x are 3 or x is equals to negative 4. Those are the factors. So right now, we have solved the first part of the question. We're moving on to the next part. And um, always note that we are going to be looking at each and every part of these questions in an exam point of view, right? So now you are looking at 2 to the power of x, uh, square root of x, and then you have your equals to 2 to the power of 27. So right now, one thing we have noticed there in that equation that we've uh, just typing, there are exponents there, there are suits there. So, the grade 11 textbooks from an exam point of view, that's one of the previous exam questions. And uh, so you'll be solving suit equations there as well as you will be applying some exponents. Now, the two are very much related, especially regarding the square root. So now as we carry on, you notice that uh, you will drop the bases here because the bases are the same. And when you drop the bases, you'll have x to the power of 3 over 2. Why x to the power 3 over 2? You ask yourself. Why? Why is that? Why is x to the power of 3 over 2? Now, remember the principle that um, the x that is outside the bracket... Uh, for it to be outside the bracket, it would have been um, x squared. Now, if you put it back into the bracket, you will have your x, right? Multiplied by what? x squared. So, when you add the exponents, they'll give you x to the power of 3. I hope we understand each other on that. Uh, but if you don't understand that point that i'm making you can always comment send us a question on our comment section so that we can 
further clarify this point to you. And uh, now 27 still remains the same there. And then we have your, now we're removing the 27. We have your X to the power. So we're doing, we're using the principle of what you do on the left, you do on the right. So if I'm going to have to cancel out that exponent of 3 over 2, I'll have to go 2 over 3, right? Multiply on one side and on the other side. On the left, it cancels. On the right, it becomes 3 to the power of 3 over 1 times 2 over 3. And once you have that, uh, you, you can then cancel out the 3s. You have 3 to the power of 2. What is 3 to the power of 2? X is equals to 9. So that's your answer for this question. And remember, what have you applied in, 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 in the textbook or from the textbook's point of view? You've applied solving suits as well as application of exponents. So you've done a lot in just one question. So let's carry on to the next question. And um, please read our information at the bottom if you need help with maths and accounting we are there so number four x squared minus 2x minus 8 is greater than not now here again you are asked to find the roots or the real roots or the the factors of x so you simply have to what factorize again just factorize what's been given there. And then you have to then articulate what you've factorized. Negative 2 is greater than x. Or, oh, sorry, negative 2 is less than x or um, 0. So x then is an element of negative 2 as well as 4. So there's no really train smash there. But uh, people prefer it when you write it in the element x is an element of negative 2 and 4 so do not stress yourself this is part of your functions now if you learn functions you learn how to use the domain and the range uh, properly right so this is what we have for question 4 let's carry on to the next question which is question 5 now for question 5 um you will have your 3x squared minus 5x minus 1. All that equals to naught. So what do you do? Because it can't factorize. You have to use the quadratic formula. So do you know the quadratic formula off by heart? If you do not, let's go to the textbook because we are doing grade 11 from a from an exam point of view so in your textbook you will realize that equations in in, in um, chapter 2 you have equations and equalities right so for in b you'll have your quadratic formula so if you want to check out your quadratic formula go to your textbook check out your quadratic formula learn how it works as well as now start doing the substitutions and uh once you have learned what the quadratic equation is all about um, 3x squared minus 5x minus 1 is equals to not won't be a difficult thing for you so once you have your formula you then need to substitute into the formula again your textbook substitution so it's quadratic formula substitution right and then um, you find the root now negative 5 you have your plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And uh, all that will be over 2a, which is 2 times, what is your a? Your a is 3. So 2 times 3, your 4ac is 4 times 3 times negative 1. So that will give you a positive answer. So as you go on answering this question, you'll notice that you will start you will need a calculator at some point and uh i did not use the calculator personally so i left out that option for you so from this point in the question you have to split the two uh your plus and minus so you'll have two equations now two 
to be able to get two roots or two factors right of x so let's carry on to the next question and then also check out the info our information at the bottom of the screen now x squared minus 2x minus 8 is greater than not now we're going back to the question that we have already covered so hopefully you were switched on that was our question four as a matter of fact so once you have covered this just notice that everything is where is in your textbook everything is in your textbook we have not covered uh, simultaneous equation quadratic inequalities nature of roots and so forth and so forth so everything that we are doing from an exam point of view it's in your grade 11 textbook so please keep checking out our 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 videos for ways to simplify your math problems and uh thank you for watching our show today have yourself a wonderful